Now, I finish my BSc as in Balkans, at Sony Balkans And then, after I was done with my BSc, I used to job for a couple of months, I don't know why, before I went to the service. After I went to the service, um, I was done with it. I tried to get me say it was, wasn't, wasn't fun for me. So he pushed me to second for a job after my service. And I did this for a while. I so was advised to go oh, for masters. We always say that, oh, once you get masters, you get an A in the world of market. So let me tell you, that's not for me. Because I didn't go for my masters. I finished off. I still came out and I'm moving to the But only this time, I did find more. Um, as a master struggling, I tried to do it, the one, the exam, the exam, the of myself. <laughs> so, um, I told myself, while I did for a good job, let me pick up the certificate, and all of that, and you can lose myself all the things. So I did that, uh, for me one. And then nothing for me, an opportunity came up, someone called me, I don't know. My company is in need of um, a slash skill, why hire? And I was like, no, but I can learn it. And I was already in process of learning those skills. So I did that for a few months. After that, before you know it, I was, uh, as a friend, I actually attended out. I was called for an interview and got to this. And uh, although I had started as an intern, but let me tell you, the day I got as an intern, it was bigger than, or was bigger than what I was being offered with my master degree. And then I started on an intern and I came to where I, I am today. That's why I say that tech is not just for me. This is me from the backend background. In doing a few months of funding, festivities, and all of that, and before you know it, I'm already in tech world. That's why I say tech is not to me. Now, moving on to what I really do, I'm a business analyst. I work with a company that provides IT solutions for financial institutions. Now, when you get the word business analyst, you might be thinking, oh, she analyzes people's business, or not in the actual lens. I'm going to use a scenario to explain what I do. So let's say, for example, you have a clinic, and then you have the system where you record your patients, um, medications, prescriptions, and where. And you are so efficient, and then you want something better. You can talk to a company and say, okay, we need you to build an app for us that does the keep record and all of that. Now, what I try in common is that I take your requirements, the needs, and then I break it down and take it to the developers who want to start the building and vision. Now, what we've done, and making sure that what we find in what client is getting, I send the software and make sure that it is, it meets the client's needs. Now, um, that is like the summary of what I do. I want to go in a lot of time. And, uh, so then you know, I'll say, if you are at a point in your life where you're looking for what to do, or you're not happy with what you've done, how do you really try to say? Because, um, for me, I feel happy. I think I'm actually happier now what I would have been about doing something, uh, with my degree in yes. certificate. So, uh, if you're feeling sexy about the point where you are, I would encourage you to try to say, maybe you can find your fulfillment. And I'll end with the words of uh, my angel. He says, if you don't like what you're doing, change it. And if you can't change it, change your attitude. Yeah.